All right, here we are at the gargoyles. We've skipped them long enough. We've pretty much cleared the entire undead parish by now. What we're going to be doing is pretty simple. We've got uh, three slots now with my attunement at 14, uh, two of which are taken up by this uh, great chaos fireball that was given to us by the uh, fair lady down at the Chaos Covenant as a reward for joining. You don't need to be in the Covenant to use it, but she gives it to you. With our maxed ascended pyro hand, which we got from Kelana down in the swamp, we pretty much have the ability to one-shot the guard. Let's just slam a fireball into his face and he's dead. The first gargoyle has about uh, a thousand hit points, slightly less, I think he's 999. The other one comes in at half health, so roughly 500, and they're both dead. You'll notice that the damage f feature uh, increased a little bit. First it said that about 1276, then it jumped to about 2000. Uh, the reason for that is because the Great Chaos Fireball, in addition to most of the Chaos Pyromancies, leave a puddle of lava on the ground, and anything that's still in the puddle of lava continues to take hits, uh, taking more damage from the lava, or taking damage from the residual lava if they weren't hit by the original fireball. So the, the gargoyles died instantly because they took more than a thousand points of, of damage, and that's more than they had health. But then they took a little bit more just to add insult to injury. Climbing up here to the second bell, there's a lot of neat details here. First of all, you can see pretty much the entire outside of Sen's fortress from here. In fact, if you uh, take a look at it, you can pretty much uh, map out the whole thing. You can see the area where the Iron Golem is. Uh, I don't think you can see him there. You might actually be able to. He's behind where that column would be, though. Looking to see if I got the binoculars, and I apparently didn't. The other cool feature is if you look way up there, you can see the Wall of Anor Londo and that building up there, which is the Duke's Archives. That's one of the later game areas, and it's interesting because you can see that almost all the way from uh, the Bell of Awakening. Now, this is the second bell. Normally, this would be the first bell most people ring, but in this case, we've already rang Kellogg's, so we're now ringing the Parish Bell. We get the usual parish cutscene for this. Uh, this would be the same whether we rang it first or second. Now, this is interesting. This is the second bell cutscene. And for whatever reason, um, it always cuts to a shot of the parish, even though the parish bell is usually not the first one that gets rung. Otherwise, the cutscene is identical. The giant pulls the chain, Sen's fortress is opened, and it kind of pulls out on that to show you Sen's and uh, the parish. The graphics mod actually makes uh, everything clearer because the depth of field doesn't cut in quite as quickly, but you get the idea.